Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 2 Protecting Wildlife. Unit 1 China's Giant Pandas. Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to understand what are endangered species, explain how panda breeding was made successful, and recall problems faced when raising pandas in captivation. Paragraph 1. China's giant panda is one of the world's most endangered species. An endangered species is a type of plant or animal with such a low population that it may die out or become extinct. The giant panda is also perhaps the best loved of all animals. People around the world think the pandas are very cute. And toy pandas are always popular with children. The panda is also an international symbol of wildlife preservation. Paragraph 2. Only about a thousand pandas still exist in the wild. The panda population is very low because of the loss of the animal's natural habitat, a place where a plant or animal normally lives. Humans now use much of the land that the pandas once lived on. The panda diet consists mostly of bamboo shoots, but the bamboo forests are also disappearing. Paragraph 3. The giant panda has always been part of the culture of Chinese people. People in the West, however, first saw the giant panda in 1869. European biologists were puzzled by its appearance. They debated whether to categorize the animal as a raccoon or bear. Paragraph 4. In 1936, an American named Ruth Harkness made the long and difficult journey to China and Tibet to capture a panda. She returned to America with a baby panda named Su Lin. Zoos around the world wanted to own the animal. Unfortunately, Su Lin and other pandas brought to zoos did not thrive and failed to breed. Paragraph 5 Serious research on pandas did not begin until the 1980s. The Wu Long Giant Panda Reserve Center is in the Sichuan province in China. Scientists there research ways to save the panda. They are trying to breed giant pandas to increase the population. They also take care of sick, injured, and lost pandas. The center tries to make sure that all is well when the animals are released back into the wild. Paragraph 6. Recently, the first captive-born giant panda was released into the wild. The four-year-old panda named Ziang Ziang is doing very well so far. He was trained at the Wulong Center to survive on his own. People around the world hope that scientists can release even more pandas back into the wild. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, population. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. The number of people or animals in an area. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word population. Mohammed, can you talk about this picture and how it's related to the vocabulary word population? Okay, I see in this picture number of people all around the world and animals. And that's what population means, a number of people and animals in an area. Now let's take a look at the paragraph containing the vocabulary word population. I'll read the sentence for you. The panda population is very low because of the loss of the animal's natural habitat, a place where a plant or animal normally lives. Number two, wildlife preservation. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. Preservation of wild animals and natural areas. Correction, correction. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number two, wildlife preservation. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. Preservation of wild animals and natural areas. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary words wildlife preservation. Mohammed, can you talk about this? I see a band in this picture and it's been taken care of and that's preservation of wild animals and natural areas. 
Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words wildlife preservation. I'll read the sentence. The panda is also an international symbol of wildlife preservation. Number three, categorize. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, to put in a group. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word categorize. Mohammed, can you talk about this picture? Well, in this picture, I see different squares and different colors. And the orange one, it's the main one. And they're putting every group and different groups. And that's what categorize means, to put in a group, categorize. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word categorize. I'll read the sentence for you. They debated whether to categorize the animal as a raccoon or bear. Number four, failed to breed. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A, did not reproduce. Now let's take a look at a picture containing the vocabulary words failed to breed. Mohammed, can, can you talk about this and, and how is it related to failed to breed? Well, I see in this picture a panda and its baby and the future of them. There's no reproducing, there's no more pandas, and that's what fell to breed and did not reproduce. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words failed to breed. I'll read the sentence for you. Unfortunately, Su Lin and other pandas brought to zoos did not thrive and failed to breed. Number five, captive born. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. Born in a captivity, like zoo. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word captive, born. Mohammed, please tell us how this picture is related to the vocabulary words captive, born. As you see in this picture, there's a baby panda born in captivity, which is in the zoos. And you see this baby in, inside the cage, and cage is always in the zoos, and that's what captive born means. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words captive born. I'll read the sentence for you. Recently, the first captive born giant panda was released into the wild. Choose the correct answer. Question number one. Why are pandas in danger of extinction? A. Because of the loss of a natural habitat. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing that answer. I'll read the sentence for you. Only about a thousand pandas still exist in the wild. The panda population is very low because of the loss of the animal's natural habitat. A place where a plant or animal normally lives. Question number two. What happened to the pandas brought to zoos in the 1930s and later? C. They didn't reproduce and eventually died. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing that answer. Looking at the last sentence, it reads, Unfortunately, Su Lin and other pandas brought to zoos did not thrive and failed to breed. Question number three. When did panda research and conservation begin? B. 1936. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing that answer. In the beginning, it reads, In 1936, an American named Ruth Harkness made the long and difficult journey to China and Tibet to capture a panda. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed. Please tell us some of the things you learned in this unit. You know, in this unit, I learned about the, that the endangered species, like panda, you know, are close to being not on Earth anymore. And there are only about a thousand pandas that exist in the wild. Panda 
breeding was successful mostly because of Wang Giant Panda Reserve Center in China. Their research is doing. It wasn't until then that the problem of pandas breeding was resolved. Thank you, Mohammed, for your comments.